Hello everyone and welcome to the review of the Ionon Streaming Media Car DVR Rear View Mirror. So this thing it's uh, let's call it a very smart rear view mirror for your car but has a lot of functions and we are going to discuss and showcase all of them. Uh, so you are going to see what this thing is about. From the box uh, you won't get any kind of detail of what's inside, it's just a black box with the logo on it. The model number, in case if you are searching it on uh, their website, it's called uh, Streaming Media and its uh, uh, number is R0011. So if you search on their website about this model, you are going to find it. Uh, I'm giving you that code because this company makes a lot, a lot of products, a huge array of products and they do uh, special models for uh, uh, car uh, media as well. So if you have uh, one model of a car, you can search something to replace your stock radio with uh, something very advanced powered by Android and things like that. So when you open the box, you are greeted by this shiny looking mirror and of course it has a protection label on it so I'm just going to put this a bit on the side let's see what else we get in the box so first thing is the rear view camera which looks like this and this thing is made from metal so it's metal encased that makes it very strong and this thing is waterproof, shockproof, dustproof and so on so this is a very reliable outdoor rear view uh, camera of course it has the protection in them and it comes with mounting hardware pads adhesive pads metal brackets screws and so on right so let's see what else we get of course extension cable for the rear view mirror and if i'm not mistaken this thing has six meters i'm going to check that later and you get some microfiber cloth for cleaning the mirror GPS antenna and this is an external antenna type uh, it's large but this thing is very reliable so it will get a satellite lock very quickly and it's very precise because this mirror also needs GPS and you are going to see why the mounting hardware is very simple to use it uses silicon bands for the mirror and this will attach to your existing mirror and of course it comes with a power adapter power supply this it's kind of standard you plug it in your cigarette lighter and it has a mini usb port it outputs 5 volts and 2 amps so it's rather standard and of course it also comes with a manual with specifications and you can pause the video if you want to uh, read them and it shows how to install it it also shows quickly how to configure some of the settings and the functions of this smart mirror and let's power this on for a quick test so uh, let's take it out of this cardboard and let's take a quick look at it so on the rear of the mirror you get this nice design here specially made for uh, uh, cooling this thing uh, very easy. The lens here, uh, because the mirror has also a lens, can be shifted and it can be tilted in all directions. So this will avoid obstacles and you can orient it as you wish. And of course this mirror is also car DVR. So a lot, uh, another function for it. Beside that, with the other camera connected to it you don't get only a reversing system but this thing can be used as a um, blind spot mirror uh, so this mounted on your car will have a much wider angle and you can see much more details into this mirror by using this camera instead of using this mirror and looking into it through your car windows so that's another big plus so let's power this on and because it's powered by a regular USB I'm going to use a USB charger for that and I'm going to connect power to it you must be 
uh, careful when you are connecting it because this is AV and this is USB so this is for power this is for connecting the other camera while on here you are going to insert the micro SD card for the DVR and this is for the GPS antenna so I'm going to connect the USB and this thing seems to boot up instantly yes uh, it's already working I'm going to do something else I'm going to remove this so you can actually see something and this should be better I did a small trick I did a lot of uh, sun blinding in the room so there's no uh, light and all the lights are off video camera light is off so you can now actually see what's on the camera on the screen and not looking into a mirror and if I touch the screen you can see this small menu here if I press on settings you have the settings menu where it has management for the micro SD card which I have not inserted into it now it has the ADA system it has the speed settings which can be miles or kilometers per hour driving mode if you enable this the mirror will turn into driving assistant mode uh, 30 seconds after booting up date and time and you can set them up but it will sync them from the GPS also resolution for the DVR and it can go up to 1296p which is of course bigger than full HD loop recording it supports 1 minute 2 minute and 3 minutes cycle G sensor and you can adjust its sensitivity parking mode sensitivity this can record in parking volume settings LCD brightness you can adjust it and it should have also a sensor for uh, setting it automatically you can also record sound language and uh, it supports a lot more languages than English and Chinese so it also has Russian uh, German French and some other languages as well and let's see what else we have here so that was language parking line uh, when you are reversing it will show you those guidelines for helping you park GPS info but I don't have the antenna connected right now and I'm indoor about car DVR you have model number serial version or something software version sorry and the battery status which is 0% and it's now charging and of course if something goes wrong you can reset the setup and it will make it like brand new so I am still filming in uh, some uh, dim light conditions so the camera will connect to this extension cable like that with a provided plug and it's very simple to install this on the car um, you just connect this to the mirror system and the red wire must go to one of your reversing lights uh, that will be the sense of uh, the camera so when it senses voltage for the reversing lights it knows that you are reversing and it will put this into reverse mode so you are going to get some guidelines and it will automatically start the rear camera so I'm just going to connect this here but like I'm using it now you can also let me try to stop the light um, you can switch the cameras from this button here so now I'm seeing the rear camera and I must say that both cameras both the rear and the front cameras look stunningly well on the screen and the screen looks amazing so I'm really sorry that filming a mirror with a video camera doesn't show you what uh, what my eyes are seeing so this thing is very sharp and beside being very sharp uh, it also has very good colors and uh, the uh, large screen it's really nice so you can really use this as a mirror on your car and there's no lag so it will not create you any kind of problems if you want to drive and reverse or check the mirror like I'm doing now so it's a really impressive camera system and monitor the monitor is really nice so you can also switch quickly if you want 
and as I told you, we can go to reversing mode just by connecting that red wire. And now I'm going to prepare this for uh, using it in the car and we'll continue with this review. So I'm going to insert a micro SD card in it so we'll get some video footage from the camera which is very important. And I want to see this working, probably you want to see it as well in a real situation, actually in the car. So come with me, I'm going to install this in the car and let's see further how it operates. So I have installed the system. Uh, the installation itself is very easy, you just have to wire it and wiring it is not complicated. Actually you have to hide the wires because all comes with uh, plugs, so it's just plug and play. The only thing that needs more uh, installation uh, it's the red wire which needs to connect to the reversing light, so the GPS mirror will know that you have selected the reverse, so it will switch to reversing mode and that's it. Uh, very simple to install, it takes more time to actually hide the wires than to connect them. And now I'm going to uh, start the system. It boots up uh, really quick as you can see and it starts with the rear camera enabled. So now it acts as a mirror. It's a large mirror with uh, absolutely no dead zones because the camera being on the rear of the car, it has a very wide angle and uh, you can see what's all around and that's especially nice when you have a car such as a hatchback or a SUV because the rear window is small and using the original mirror uh, makes you look onto a tiny patch of glass and you have large dead zones so you don't, never know what's in the rear corner of your car and you need to use huge external mirrors and even those do not cover all the blind spots. Well, this thing covers the blind spots because it's very wide angle camera used and that makes it very nice. So, uh, it's not only the rear camera which is very good because it's very wide, but the image itself, it's also very tall. And you can see that by actually scrolling the image down and I can look and see the bumper of my car here, which is spectacular. And then I can also look upwards and this thing catches all, everything from the sky above until the bumper of my car, which is simply amazing. This is a SUV, so the bumper is down there and you can see the rear screen wiper, which is amazing, amazing. And of course, I can always switch to front camera if I wish to. And this is the DVR, which is already recording. And this thing records both camera front and rear and uh, you have the same scrolling ability of course this device records and the recording takes the whole image so uh, it will record from the sky above until the ground below uh, that's all in the recording uh, you have the screen uh, screen option with scrolling because the screen is very wide so you cannot fit a full image on this that's why you can scroll it but Nonetheless, when you reverse, it will memorize the position. Let me put the reverse on. And there you go. You can also look down and up as you wish. And you have, of course, guidelines to help you park the car. And you can uh, take measurements of them. And that makes it a lot more easy to park with them. Of course, I advise you first to try this and see what the marks represent on real life but those will help you a lot because you know when the red is near your bumper you are going to hit something and when it's green it's okay yellow it's a warning so that makes sense and it's a lot of help that you can have from the system now I'm going to disable the reverse it will go into less known position which is front camera I can go to rear camera if I wish to uh, it's nice that uh, it will remember the last use position for that camera in that mode so you don't have to adjust this up, down or modes uh, each time uh, and that's a very good feature because otherwise it would be frustrating and you can see here the small uh, flashing dot that is recording I will stop the recording I get the sound alarm and now I have access to the menu I can take a picture for example or I can go to playback menu 
and in the playback menu I can watch the recordings and I can play them on the screen and you can hear my recording which I did right now and of course you can look at all the videos here on the library which is very useful if you want to review something and you can also watch pictures for example the picture that I have just took you can see them and uh, you also have this option which is, says no file here this is if you enable shock detection on this uh, it will lock the files you can find the locked files there uh, which is again a useful feature in case of an accident or something like that the recording will not be deleted automatically by this device another nice feature about this mirror is the button below which I have shown you in the first part of this video how it works it's uh, very nice implemented and useful in the car for example I want to turn this into a regular mirror to see what's uh, inside my car for example if I have someone on uh, the rear seat I can always press the button below it turns into assisted mode where it uh, has the speed uh, the heading with the compass time and date and the rest is the mirror and you can see the mirror is pretty nice um, and I can also turn it completely off and it's now a regular mirror and hello there you can see my hands very nicely and now it's a regular mirror, a uh, very wide mirror, which uh, actually looks better than the original car mirror because it's bigger than that and uh, has more view of uh, the inside of the car. What is also again nice is the fact that you don't have to always push this button below because if I want to turn this on quickly and let's say I'm with the car and I'm driving, I don't have to fiddle to press this button, I can just touch the screen and it has turned on into the camera mode and I have access to the settings of course this system will automatically start recording each time when you power it on which is very useful because you don't have to uh, take attention to turning the recording on each time when you start the car it automatically starts and assures that you have uh, the VR footage there Last but not least, I also want to tell you some of the cons of uh, this device. There are just two minor cons. Uh, the first one is the cables here. Uh, if you have three connectors connected here with three wires, it doesn't look very nice uh, because they are uh, not proprietary connectors. They are uh, two mini USB ports and a jack connector. I would have developed a single connector, proprietary connector, with only one wire. That would have been very nice as a design. 
The other cone is related more to my car mirror because the original mirror is very flimsy and it will shake even without adding weight on it. Well, adding this system onto the original mirror will make it uh, vibrate, not by much, but just one, just some slight vibration related to road conditions. Uh, the main con of that is the fact that when you have a shaking device that records video, it uh, makes the quality a bit more bad because the camera always have movement and that kind of messes up uh, footage clarity. Although you are going to see some really nice footage from the camera and it's recorded onto my shaky mirror and you will see that it looks rather good. So I hope that you have enjoyed my review of uh, this system. I'm really surprised by it and uh, mostly about the screen quality because it's uh, not only very big and very wide but it also has very good brightness so you can uh, tell anything from it even in full sunshine it's very clear very sharp and that's very useful to have it in the car because you have uh, the need for the best visibility ever so the screen it's awesome and the camera is uh, very good and I'm enjoying this very much the scrolling ability and I can highly recommend this product as a very good replacement for two devices in one so you got a good uh, double camera DVR so you have front and rear continuous recording and of course you also have the reversing system which works really nice and you have the assistance of lane departure if you want to use that stuff uh, and uh, playback functions on this so it's a very good product and uh, I like it very much so be sure to follow my next uploads where maybe I can do some other uh, uh, videos about this device if you want to see more details or have any ideas that you wish uh, me to test them just leave a comment below and I will gladly uh, respond to you or take some other videos uh, related to the subject that you are interested in until then Bye-bye.